Hello everyone, this is the Amanda Moss Art Channel and I'm your host, Amanda Moss. And it's so good to be back with you and um, sorry everyone, I haven't done a video in a little over a week now, but we had some bad storms on Easter Sunday. Had to go get in the shelter, the tornado sirens went off of course and um, that was quite an experience but uh, we were all safe here praise Jesus and from what I'm understanding uh, we may have some more storms coming again here in Alabama on uh, Wednesday hopefully not but we'll just see so, um, some things I would like to share with you. Uh, first off, I would like to read um, something from a devotional here. And, uh, let's see, I need to put my glasses on here. Okay, I like to start each day off with uh, the Lord and his word as well it just makes the day go by so much better some days i don't do it first thing off in the morning but when i do it just makes that day go by much better and when there is some obstacle something that could arise come up well i can keep in my mind you know what i read that day to help me get through that day and any troubles that might might happen along the way so here we go the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God and the dead in Christ will rise first after that we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. First Thessalonians uh, chapter 4 verses 16 through 17. It was very early in the morning, Luke 24, 1. While it was still dark, John 21. That Jesus rose from the dead. Only the morning star, not the sun, shone down upon his tomb as it opened. Jerusalem's shadows had not yet retreated, and its citizens were still asleep. Yes, it was still night. During the hours of darkness and sleep, when he arose, but his rising did not break the slumbering of the city. And it will be during the darkness of the early morning, while only the morning star is shining that Christ's body. His church will arise like him, his saints will awake, while the children of the night and darkness are still sleeping, sleeping their slumbering, I'm sorry, sleeping their slumber of death. Upon rising, the saints will disturb no one. And the world will not hear the voice that summons them as quietly as Jesus has laid them to rest, each in their own silent grave like children held in the arms of their mothers. He will just as quietly and gently awake them when the hour arrives. To each will come the life-giving words. You who dwell in the dust, wake up and shout for joy. Isaiah 26, 19. And to their graves, the earliest ray of glory will find its way. The saints will soak up the first light of morning, while the clouds of the eastern sky will give only the faintest hints of the uprising. The gentle fragrance of the morning, along with its soothing stillness, invigorating freshness, sweet loneliness, and quiet purity, all so solemn and yet so full of hope, will be theirs. 
Oh, how great the contrast between the blessings and the dark night through which they have just passed. Oh, how great it will be. They will shake off the dirt of the earth that once held them, flinging mortality aside, and will rise with glorified bodies to meet the Lord in the air. The light of the bright morning star, Revelation 22:16, will guide them upward along a brand new path. The beams of of that star of the morning will, like the star of Bethlehem, direct them to the presence of the king. Weeping may remain for a night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. Psalm 35. And here's a little poem. While the hosts cry, Hosanna from heaven descending, with glorified saints and the angels attending. With grace on his brow, like a halo of glory, will Jesus receive his own. I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Revelation 22, 20. A soldier once said, When I die, do not play taps over my grave. Instead, play reveal the morning call, the summons to arise. Praise Jesus. Um, that was just wonderful and very touching and moving. And we do live in uncertain times. And um, if we were ever near the end uh, before, we certainly are uh, nearing those days. And they are fastly approaching. I don't want to... Uh, be doom and gloom here, but if you're not right with Jesus, I pray that, you know, you do that soon. Um, because uh, this is a Christian channel, um, and it is the Amanda Moss Art Channel, and I am an artist, and I am a Christian. So next, um, I... The first show I've done, I don't know if everyone at home can see this painting that I have been working on for a little over a year and a half. The sun was shining, of course, and it may have been a little hard to see, so I'm just going to bring that closer in so all you folks at home can get a better look at this. And I'm hoping that the focus and all of that is come again so everyone can see this i have not finished it of course yet um no artist ever considers their work completely finished um i have not signed the picture yet i had one or two places that i could sign my name and here was one place but i thought wow it's going to take away from the tree and then I thought maybe over here by the rocks I might could as well. But so I'm not sure. But if anyone has any ideas, please feel free to leave, you know, a suggestion in the comment section. Okay. And next here, uh, this is a picture. Um, th this one's going to have a bit of a glare on it. I'm going to bring it in closer. Um I painted this one. Uh, this is Jesus, the Good Shepherd, with the sheep here. And um, I painted this picture, and I donated it to a local church here where I live, um, to my pastor, and he has it in his office. So I'm just going to stand up, and we're going to try to see... If uh, any of this maybe perhaps shows up there, there could be a serious glare on it. I'll try to bring it in maybe a little closer. No, nope. there we go. But um, next time, 
hopefully I can get a better picture of it without the glossy uh, finish there on it. And next, I would like to share this one. Uh, this is a much larger one than the one like I just showed you. And let me bring this back maybe to about right here so everyone at home can maybe see this. I'm hoping you can. Um, this one is not going to be like the old one, of course. Over here, this is going to be the new Jerusalem because it has the uh, gold there on the Temple Mount. And I'm just kind of looking here to see what all of you at home can see. This one's going to be slightly different, of course. So I'm just going to sit this down right here. Um, okay, I'm back over here. Get me a drink. My throat's getting a little dry. Okay. And um, this show is not only just going to be about my art, but um, I have probably over a thousand different ideas of different art that I'm going to be sharing. Um, I would like to go out and interview people who have artistic talents as well. I believe that we all have uh, an artistic side to us. Just for instance, um, the art of God. You know, God created everything on earth and I could live 10, 100 lifetimes and I could never possibly paint all of his beautiful creations that, you know, he created. He is the master artist. So, um, I'm just going to give you an example. Um, maybe one show I'm, ha I'm thinking about doing the art of cooking. Um, the art of gardening is something coming up in the next few months. Um, the art of herbs. Um, and just many, many, many more. And the art of nature. Um, even the art of ceramics. But the main reason I've done this YouTube channel was because I have been painting for years. I used to give my paintings away. However, I'm not making any money doing that. So... Um, and here in Alabama, nothing against Alabama, but the area here in which I live, it's not a culturally rich area in the arts. So I feel that I'm never going to be discovered. Um, and I want the world to see my artwork. I want it to get past Alabama. So I just wanted to let you... Uh, all know, you know, why I have started this YouTube channel. Uh, I hope it does good. I hope maybe some people really like my artwork and my style. And oh, by the way, my medium is oil. I, when I went to college, I took uh, drawing, watercolor, um, art history, and there's still more art classes, of course, you know, that I wouldn't mind taking as well. However, I've not ever taken sculpture, and that's one that I will definitely be taking uh, one day. So, um, and um, I'm in my 40s. I'm not getting any younger. And I love painting. It's just, it's who I am. And, you know, God gave me this talent. However, I tell everyone, anyone can paint, anyone can draw. 
but God give me the patience because there's times, you know, I get very impatient with my art and, and I just have to say, Lord, give me the patience and it's good to walk away and take a break and there'll be some other segments, um, on the channel where I'm actually going to be showing people some tips and some things I learned along the way. You can go to college and learn art, but there's they don't always tell you the secrets. And and I have a different style than everyone else. I I feel my art is different than any other art. And I know most artists, you know, feel their art is the best too. And by the way, I love looking at all people, uh, different types of artwork that people have done. And, and I look at it like, if you enjoy it, and that's your passion, and that's what makes you happy, you are successful. However, um, I'm not making any money with my artwork. I have so many pictures of canvas of artwork that I'm going to be sharing on the show. Uh, it'll take several shows, of course, to show all of the artwork that I just have on hand. I've even had to start putting some of it in a storage building. And that's not counting all the artwork that I've gave away all these years. So, um, I think that's going to wrap it all up, folks, and um, I hope you all have a wonderful week, and by the way, it's beautiful outside today. I'm looking out the window at the beautiful sunshine. Um, we've got a lot of rain here lately, and I thank God for that. The Lord knows what we need, you know. Um, and so I try to not complain about uh, too much rain, too much uh, sunshine, too much cold. You know, uh, I just thank God each morning for another day. So, and until next time, God bless you and God keep you. Bye-bye.